at 722.6 or nag one as it is in this case is it's a Chrysler there's a seven millimeter in this connector right here well we're gonna replace this anyway always replace this connector look inside here if this thing is full of oil you're going to want to check your wiring harness and your computer also Sixteenths on the nut. And their flange will come off. Forty-five torques on the big bolts and thirty torques on the small ones. Check our sprag, make sure we're turning in one direction, locking the other. These are fairly bad about going out anyway. You might want to take them out of there and shake them and make sure none of the elements fall out. It's one sided. snap rings with a set of clutches it makes it easier and quicker to uh, just identify and put back together here's our piston bevel plate another piston and zip tie it together like I do <clears throat> most everything else Take our sprag out. And we're going to shake it. Pay attention to which way it came out, which way it was turning. All right, come on out of there. Not going to be difficult. It's 
we're on camera. Even that didn't push it out. Five times that'll push it out. run into some of these races where they, uh, they don't want to go in and they don't want to come out especially on the ones that you replace them with so I'm going to go ahead and leave this out normally I would put it back in I'm going to go ahead and leave it out over here. The bushing's looking pretty bad. Make sure the cushion plate's not broke. Also all these clutches are going to be one-sided. These two bearings on there, if you try to get them off, you're just going to screw them up. On this plate here, I just push down and I push the snap ring off. It's got a it's kind of L-shaped. Usually you can get a screwdriver in here and just push it off, just like that, and just slide it off. It's got the L shape. And the turn spring, our piston. Sometimes you get this in the kit, sometimes you don't. So if you really want it, you need to make sure and specify for it because you may not get it. 45 torques again. Now I didn't used to give you this plate here in the kit. Most of your kits now come with, especially the better ones, like the Transtech. You know, you almost always get it now. Just to kind of pry up on the. There's a couple spots in here where there's some cutouts, and you can get on there and break it loose. knock your pump body and gears out and as always always mark my pump gears Dots facing up. No mark there. <clears throat> and they look the same on both sides. Looking okay in there. We're going to take our valve body off. Thirty torques. <coughs> this one over here has usually got a, a different shape to it, and it's got an extra uh, piece that comes out. Usually, there's something that bolts to it. Pan, filter. 
after 30 torques on the valve body. <coughs> Some of these have, looks like we got some blown up planets on this one. Some of these have plastic covers that pop down on top of over this thing. This conductor plate is the number one failure on these units. Always replace it no matter what. There's two 45 torques back here. snap ring here holding our ring gear on Have to pay really close attention to this because it looks like we're probably out of planet coming for planet or a bearing Try not to bend any of this stuff. This is where speed sensors right, uh, read off. And they also read off of this one right here. Make sure that this is not sliding forward or backwards on this thing. And we'll make sure it's lined up. Clutches. There's two different size clutches for this thing on this set right here. And make sure you get the right set before you go back together with it. Looks like we're going to be getting steels for this year. And we got our piston, our double plate, another piston. This bearing right the front right here is okay. You can just leave it on there. I don't see any planetary, so it must all be torque motor. Unless we got something right here. Any pair of snap ring pliers. It just doesn't feel like they're bad. bearing and that race sprag assembly go ahead and pull this off of this bearing off of here 
I just don't see nothing. So it must all be torque converter. You got a bearing there and you got a bearing here. And leave them on there if they'll stay on there. I got a race here. Another sprag assembly. Turn one way, lock the other. Got a snap ring down in there. We need these. Come on, let go. Here again, you're going to want to check your surface where it rides. But you're going to want to take this out of there. And you're going to want to make sure it doesn't fall apart. Seems to be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it out. Around here. Now this uh, snap ring that's in the bottom down here, our bell bell plate, just down. It's got an L shape to it also. Uh, it's easier to just take it to the foot press. Mine fits right around there and I can get this out pretty easy. Otherwise, you can take it out the same way. You can just push down and start working it out. This one here uses these two O-rings in here to seal up the inside of this. The snap ring here is at the 12 o'clock position. dish down and our piston will come out we've got our park gear usually there's two to three shims on the back here and make sure how many you got and then you get on the back side right here there's more shims so make sure you put them where they came out of make sure that bearing in the back of your case is okay you can leave it in there you can take it out sometimes it makes it easier getting that output shaft all the way through there if you take that bearing out but I always try it first because it's, it can be difficult to uh, get that snap ring in, in the right position after you try to put that uh, bearing back in. All right, where's my opening? Above our plate, dish down. I don't know if we'll probably just need this one set of steels here.
Yeah, I didn't do it, but I should have. Uh, usually I mark this before I go walking away with it because it only lines up in there one way. You can put this piston however you want to, but these bolt holes and this spot only lines up in one spot. And if you're off just a little bit, it, uh, you're not going to get the bolts in and it's a pain to turn. So I always mark where this opening was and now I'm good to go. Got our bevel plate. It's, it's getting pretty marked up. We're probably going to order that one. Probably going to get ready to crack. almost out of there. I got these two pistons. Yeah, we got this here. This one written up, and then we'll be back. All right, let's see what kind of complaint we had here. And I had trans is going into limp mode, slips hard after warmed up, only shifts one, two, two, three, and And gear ratio codes of first, second, third, 731, 732, 733. So we're going to do an LS kit, filter, pump bushing, conductor plate, pass through connector. There's two different steels. Like I said, there's two different clutches for that uh, K1 drum. And mine are seven, 72 120Cs. I need six of them. The only thing I could find on my torque converter was a uh, 19 HS6, but I do not think that's what they're looking for. So, that's what we got on this one. Look at this sold. 